Okay, so this is a Lindrum test on the TR8S. I've loaded in 11 instruments. <coughs> um, the regular kick, one of these snares, there seems to be multiple on the instruments. Um, shaker, tambourine, rim shot, hand clap, open and closed hi hats, a crash cymbal, and a ride cymbal. I apologize in advance for the really poor drum programming. Uh, you basically, get what you get. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through each of the in instruments as loaded in. Um, I was able to load them as one in one go uh, using the directory import, and then I assigned them to 11 different parts on the TR8. So here we go. It's going to start with the kick. This is tunable, obviously. Okay, you can also mess with the decay. So you can add things like compression and drive. Okay, so let's leave that there. I'll bring that back in later on. But here's the snare. You can do the same thing. Doesn't sound very good pitch down. with the decay. Also do the same, you can add, add a bit of drive. So let's listen to this together. Okay then, here's a shaker, and you can do the same things with it. Let's do things like bit reduction, quite, get quite crunchy quite quickly. Here we go, cowbell, cowbell, everybody loves cowbell. This works really well with the course tuning. Sounds really good. You can also put some drive on it. That doesn't sound so good. Okay, so the kibasa. Kind of funky when it's down low. So decay, long, short. Okay. I'm gonna do the um, rim shot. I don't like the sound of this very much. Quite a long rim shot as well when you leave the decay up. Actually, it sounds much better pitched up. You can also introduce things like filter on there. Okay, here's a bit of clapping. Nice clap sounds really crunchy to me. Okay, hats. Everyone loves hats. And you can play the filter on these. 
Okay, then. So, crash symbol. It was quite short on the decay, all the way up to very long. Quite a nice sample. That was pretty trippy with the high pass filter. And finally, the ride symbol. Thank you.